The electric sun hypothesis. The basics. In this day and age, there is no longer any doubt that electric effects in plasmas play an important role in the phenomena we observe on the sun. The major properties of the electric sun, ES model, are as follows. Most of the space within our galaxy is occupied by plasma, rarefied ionized gas, containing electrons, negative charges, and ionized atoms, positive charges. Every charged particle in the plasma has an electric potential energy, voltage, just as every pebble on a mountain has a mechanical potential energy with respect to sea level. The sun is at the center of a plasma cell, called the heliosphere, that stretches far out, several times the radius of Pluto. As of 9-9-2012, the radius of this plasma cell has been measured to be greater than 18 billion kilometers, or 122 times the distance from the Sun to Earth. These are facts, not hypotheses. The Sun is at a more positive electrical potential voltage than is the space plasma surrounding it, probably in the order of several thousand volts. Positive ions leave the Sun and electrons enter the Sun. Both of these flows add to form a net positive current flowing through the sun, entering at the poles and leaving radially at lower latitudes. This constitutes a plasma discharge, analogous in every way, except size, to those that have been observed in electrical plasma laboratories for decades. Because of the sun's positive charge, voltage, it acts as the anode in a plasma discharge. As such, it exhibits many of the phenomena observed in earthbound plasma laboratory experiments. In the plasma universe model, cosmic-sized, low-density currents create the galaxies and the stars within those galaxies. By the electromagnetic z-pinch effect, it is only a small extrapolation to ask whether these currents remain in place to power those stars.